if a person by profession deals in riba or as it's been now translated interest does this mean that uh, their fast would not be accepted as far as riba is concerned riba is a major sin it's guna kabira and riba has been mentioned in the quran in no less than eight different places allah mentions it in surah al imran chapter 3 verse number 130 in surah nisa chapter number 4 verse number 161 it's mentioned thrice in surah baqarah chapter 2 verse number 275 it's also mentioned in surah baqarah chapter 2 verse 276 and also in surah baqarah chapter 2 verse number 278 and 279 and i quote that last verse only i don't intend giving a speech Allah says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse number 278 and 279 that give up what remains of your demands of usury and anyone who does not give up the demands of usury interest riba is arabic word if anyone does not give up the demand of interest then take notice of a vow from Allah and his rasul if anyone deals in riba in interest in usury Allah and his rasul will wage a war against you it's more serious it's a bigger sin than having alcohol it's a bigger sin than taking drugs because when you have alcohol when you take drugs when you have pork it's a big sin but allah and his rasul will not wage a war against you but if you involve yourself in riba with the take or give both when you take interest or give interest both of them are major sins so if a person is involving in riba it will not break the fast per se because i've told you things that break the fast i've already mentioned total 10 things So this does not come in that, but it's a major sin. A person should abstain throughout his life, especially in the month of Ramadan, which is the month of forgiveness, month of blessing. It will only reduce his reward. What reward he gets for fasting? His fasting will not be nullified. It will not be invalidated, but the reward will be reduced. And as the beloved Prophet Muhammad SAW said, in the Sahih Hadith in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, Hadith number one ninety zero three, the beloved Prophet said, a person does not leave his false actions. and false talks allah does not require him to leave his drink and eating the person who does not abstain from doing wrong things saying wrong things haram things allah does not require him to leave his eating and drinking so based on this it is haram his reward for the month of fasting will be reduced it may be nullified also